Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll try to explain the solution of this problem. But before starting, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as usual and press the like button. Okay, let's get started. There were a lot of uh, different ways of solving this problem, but the most easy, uh, the easiest, and the most interesting way is uh, is the way that I will show now. Okay. Uh, we know that if this an angel is x, this angel will be also x. Why is it so? Because uh, the uh, this angel is 90 degrees and this angel is also 90 degrees. And now I'll uh, I'll just <coughs> prove it. Uh, how is it so? This angel will be 90 degrees minus x. We know, and here this angel is 90 degrees. Uh, the sum of these angles have to give us 90 degrees. So this angel will be x. The sum will give us 90 degrees. So well, is it uh, easily can write that uh, write down this angel as x and uh, from science law we can uh, write down that um, in a right angel triangle we can we can just write down the sine x have to be equal in a big triangle a b e b or here is a c and we know AC is uh, 2 minus square root of 3 and uh, plus 2 plus square root of 3. And this will give us 4. So AB over 4. And also that uh, we know uh, from uh, triangle ABE, sine X will be equal to 2 minus square root of 3 over AB. So we know that these uh, expressions are equal, so this will also equal to a, a b over 4. From here, uh, you just write down here again, 2 minus square root of 3 over a b will equal to a b over 4. Here we can uh, multiply by 4 a b, and we can get that here it will be 4 times. 2 minus square root of 3 will equal to here AB squared. And here, if we will find out AB, this will equal to square root of 4 times 2 minus square root of 3. And it will equal also, we can uh, take a square root and uh, of 4 and we can get 2 square root of 2 minus square root of 3. So next step uh, is to plug uh, this uh, find it value instead of AB. We can plug into this second AB and we can get here find X. Let me write a uh, other color sine x will be equal to 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 times square root of 2 minus square root of 3. And uh, we can cancel these two uh, expressions and we can get sine x will be equal to uh, square root of 2 minus square root of 3 over 2. And we know that this is uh, sine 15, but how uh, how is it so? I'll just write down to prove it uh, here. Sine x will be equal to here. Uh, if we will say that this expression is equal to square root of 2 times 1 minus square root of 3 over 2. The tool give us the numerator and over 2 here. And uh, we can cancel these two expressions and we can get 2, uh, square root of 2, and here 1. Here uh, we can easily say that this is cosine 30 degrees, square root of 1 minus cosine 30 degrees over square root of 2. We can put uh, both of the numerator and denominator 
uh, with all um, square root, and we can get sine x will be equal to square root of here. Uh, we can write down cosine 30 degrees as 1 minus 2, uh, 1 minus here it will be plus uh, 1 minus 2 sine uh, square 15 degrees. Here 2 sine square 15 degrees and over 2. Here 1 and 1 will be cancelled, 2 and 2 will be cancelled, and we can get square root of sine square 15 degrees. So here it will be module sine squared 15 degrees and it will not be plus minus because sine 15 degrees is a positive number. So it will be sine 15 degrees. And here x will be equal to 15 degrees. And this is our solution. Thank you for your attention. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel press the like button.